The Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches Latin, Codex Canonum Ecclesiarum Orientalium, abbreviated CCEO is the title of the 1990 codification of the common portions of the canon law for the 23 Eastern Catholic Churches in the Catholic Church. It is divided into 30 titles and has a total of 1540 canons. The Western Latin Church is guided by its own particular canons. The 23 Sue Iuris churches which collectively make up the Eastern Catholic Churches have been invited by the Catholic Church to codify their own particular laws and submit them to the Pope so that there may be a full, complete code of all religious law within Catholicism. Pope John Paul II promulgated Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches on October 18, 1990, by the document Sacra Canones. The code came into force of law on October 1, 1991. In 1998, Pope John Paul II issued the motu proprio ad tundum fidem, which amended two canons 750 and 1371 of the 1983 Code of Canon Law and two canons 598 and 1436 of the Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches, so as to add new norms which expressly impose the obligation of upholding truths proposed in a definitive way by the magisterium of the Church, and which also establish related canonical sanctions. Titles The text of the CCEO is divided into 31 sections, 30 titles and a section of preliminary canons. Topic. Preliminary canons Topic. The six preliminary canons deal with scope and continuity, what is affected by the CCEO and how prior legislation and customs shall be handled. Can. 1 The CCEO regards solely the Eastern Catholic Churches unless otherwise mentioned. Can. 2 The CCEO is to be assessed according to the ancient laws of the Eastern Churches. Can. 3 The CCEO does not legislate on liturgical matters and therefore the liturgical books are to be observed unless contrary to the canons of the CCEO. Can. 4 The CCEO neither degrades or abrogates treaties, pacts entered into by the Holy See with nations, political societies. Therefore, they still have their force, notwithstanding any prescriptions of the CCEO to the contrary. Topic. The rights and obligations of all the Christian faithful. Topic. This section defines the Christian faithful and catechumens. It expresses that the people of God have the obligation to, maintain the faith and openly profess the faith, maintain communion, promote the growth of the church, listen to pastors, let pastors know their opinions on matters of the good of the church, call private associations, Catholic only when approved by the bishop, preserve the good reputation and privacy of all people, help with the needs of the church and promote social justice including providing aid to the poor from their own resources. It also expresses various rights of the faithful. The canons in this section are numbered 7 to 26. Topic. Churches sway iuris and rights. Topic. A church sway iuris is a community of the Christian faithful, which is joined together by a hierarchy according to the norm of law and which is expressly or tacitly recognized as sway iuris by the supreme authority of the church. CCEO.27. The term sway iuris is an innovation of CCEO Codex Canonum Ecclesiarum Orientalium, Code of Canons of the Oriental Churches and denotes the relative autonomy of the Oriental Catholic Churches. This canonical term, pregnant with many juridical nuances, indicates the God-given mission of the Oriental Catholic Churches to preserve their patrimonial autonomous nature. The autonomy of these churches is relative in the sense that they are under the authority of the Bishop of Rome. For a better understanding of the concept of Church Sway Iuris C. Zuzic, understanding the Eastern Code, pp. 94-109. Una chiesa orientale cattolica e una parte della chiesa universale che vive la fede in modo correspondente ad una della cinque grandi tradizioni orientali alessandrina, antiochina, costantinopolitina, caldia, armena e che contiene o e almeno capace di contenir, cum su componenti minori, più comunita diocesan gerarchicamente reunite sotto legita di un capo commune legitimamente eletto e in communion con Roma, il quale con il proprio 
sinodo constituish la superiori istanza per tutti gli affari di carattere amministrativo, legislativo e giudiziario della stessa comunità, nel Ambito del diritto comune tutte le cheese, determinato nei canoni sanciti di consigli ecumeni co del Romano Pontefis, sempre preservando il diritto di quest. Ultimo di intervenire nei singoli casi. pp. 103-104. A rough translation of this may be rendered. An Eastern Catholic Church is on part of the Universal Church in which lives the faith in a corresponding manner to one of the five great Eastern traditions, Alexandria, Antioch, Constantinople, Chalcedon, Armenian, and which contains or is capable of containing, as its small marts, more community-specific diocesan rule and the guide of a legitimately elected head of the community and in communion with Rome, in which, with its own synod, constitutes the highest law for all those affairs affairs of an administrative character, legislative and guiding of its own community, in the aim of the direction common to all the Church, determined in the holy canons of the ecumenical councils or of the Roman pontiff, always preserving the direction of the latter in individual cases." According to the CCEO the Oriental Catholic Church's sway iuris are of four categories 1. Patriarchal Churches the Patriarchal Church is the full-grown form of an Oriental Catholic Church. It is a community of the Christian faithful joined together by a patriarchal hierarchy. The Patriarch together with the Synod of Bishops has the legislative, judicial and administrative powers within the ecclesiastical territory, without prejudice to those powers reserved, in the common law to the Pope CCEO 55-150. Among the Catholic Oriental Churches the following hold patriarchal status, Maronite, Chaldean, Coptic, Syrian, Melkite, Armenian.2, Major Archiepiscopal Churches Major Archiepiscopal Churches are those Oriental Churches which are governed by major archbishops, assisted by a respective synod of bishops. These churches have almost the same rights and obligations of patriarchal churches. A major archbishop is the metropolitan of a see, he is chosen by the pope or recognized by him, and presides over an entire Eastern Church sway iuris. What is stated in common law concerning patriarchal churches or patriarchs is understood to be applicable to major archiepiscopal churches or major archbishops, unless the common law expressly provides otherwise or the matter is obvious. CCEO.151, 152. The four major archiepiscopal churches are, the Syro-Malabar, the Ukrainian Byzantine, the Syro-Malankara Catholic and Romanian Byzantine.3, Metropolitan Churches This is a church which is governed by a metropolitan, sway iuris. Such a church is presided over by the metropolitan of a determined see who has been canonically elected and confirmed by the Pope. He is assisted by a council of hierarchs according to the norms of law CCEO, 155 section 1. The Catholic Metropolitan Churches are the Ethiopian Church and the Ruthenian Church.4. Other churches Apart from the above-mentioned forms of church there are other ecclesiastical communities which are entrusted to a hierarch who presides in accordance with the norms of canon law, CCEO, 174. The following Oriental Catholic Churches are of this status, Belarusian Greek, Bulgarian Greek, Macedonian Greek, Greek Byzantine, Hungarian Greek, Italo-Albanian, Slovakian Greek, Byzantine Church of the Eparchy of Krivci, Albanian Byzantine, Russian Byzantine. Altogether there are 22 Oriental sway iuris churches in within the Catholic Communion. The Patriarchal Churches Topic. Jerusalem Church founded by St. James, the Apostle, in the year 37 Antioch Church founded by St. Peter, the Apostle, in the year 39 Alexandria Church founded by St. Mark, the Apostle, in the year 37 Greek Church founded by St. John, the Apostle, in the year 42 Rome Church founded by St. Peter, the Apostle, in the year 44 Mar Thoma Church of India founded by St. Thomas the Apostle, in the year 38 Celtic Church founded by St. Andrew, the Apostle, in Scotland, in the year 55 Topic. Patriarchal Curia Canons 114-125 Topic. 
Patriarchal and Major Archiepiscopal Curia The Bishops of the Curia maximum three. Permanent Synod, Patriarch plus four bishops three plus one and four substitutes quasi, Permanent Synod Patriarch plus two bishops Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, Notaries, Chancery Patriarchal Finance Officer Administrator of the Goods of Church Other aspects like archives, inventory, financial sources of curia The commissions For the liturgy, ecumenism, catechism, evangelization, preparation of the Synod of Bishops, preparation of the Patriarchal Assembly, censor of books and the other commissions under the Patriarchal Authority The Ordinary Tribunal the president, the judges, nine, the administrative officials, auditors, promoter of justice, defender of the bond, notaries, advocates, procurators, experts, interpreters, etc. The organs connected to patriarchal curia. All organs of patriarchal church who collaborate in the administration of the patriarchal church, including superior tribunal, moderator general of the administration of justice, a group of bishops for recourse, patriarchal procurator in Rome, Roman curial organs, curia of other patriarchal churches, etc. As far as the curia is concerned, it is the same for the patriarchal and major archiepiscopal churches. Topic. See also. Topic. Canon Law Catholic Church 1983 Code of Canon Law 1917 Code of Canon Law Roman Catholic Term Topic. References Topic. Topic. Bibliography Topic. Pantalaimon Rhodopolis. An Overview of Orthodox Canon Law. Edited by George Dion Dragas. Orthodox Research Institute, 2007. Topic. External links Topic. Codex Canonum Ecclesiarum Orientalium, Original Text in Latin. Code of Canons of Oriental Churches. English translation Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches PDF format Text of Sacra Canones, issued by Pope John Paul II at the promulgation of the Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches A Theological Study on CCEO